Hello, almost three weeks. Sorry about the wait for a new video. My motivation's at an all-time low in this bloody heat. And I've had chances to socialise with my friends, which I've been doing. You join me from my brand new Doctor Who wall. Completely irrelevant to this video, which is going to be a story. And like all stories, I'm going to be accompanied by this Easter egg, which I will devour. So picture the scene. It's half three in the morning. I've been in town drinking and pretending to enjoy the music of Nicki Minaj and whoever else is in the chart at the moment. And I stumble in a little bit tipsy. All I could think about was coming to bed, I was tired, I just wanted to sleep. When suddenly I trod in a wet patch on the floor. It was right in the middle of the lounge, it was just a massive wet patch. There was one underneath the doorway as well into the hall. So stupidly I turned the light on. And sure enough, massive wet patch covering the centre of the lounge. And I panic, as anyone would do if they've just wandered in at half three in the morning drunk and there's a massive wet patch leaking from the light that I just turned on. I have an idea what's caused the leak though, so I rush upstairs and sure enough, on my chest of drawers, my fish tank had cracked straight down the middle. Water was leaking out slowly, luckily, luckily it hadn't exploded. And it was leaking out through my clothes and eventually through the light. The fish were lying in about two inches of water at the bottom of the tank. So my priority became saving them. I filled up a cooking pot of water and put them in there. So they were safe and they continue to be safe. They're still alive today. They survived the whole ordeal, thank God. However, I still have a leaking tank. So I took that to the bathroom, put it in the bath to stop it leaking all over the place. At some point during this whole phase, I was apparently walking up and down the landing saying shit, 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 which woke my sister up. Now she just thought I was being a drunk idiot. So she came outside to tell me off and then realised, oh, there's actually something wrong here. And she went to wake my parents up while I was saving the fish tank. At this point, all four of us were panicking, but it was more controlled. My parents took control as, as they would. And my dad had the sense to actually turn the light off downstairs, which was still on. The light switch had turned red hot. It was boiling to touch. So in only a few more minutes that could have blown up or something, caught fire. I don't know. Now while my dad was phoning up an electrician to see if our house was safe to live in anymore, me, my mum and my sister got every towel we could find, some t-shirts, to mop up the three pools of water downstairs and around my chest of drawers. So with the floor mostly dry and with an electrician on his way, he turned up after six hours actually, it was a very quick service, I was very impressed. After, after the floor was dry-ish, thought turned to what we were going to do with the fish. Our home was fixable, theirs not so much. There was a massive crack, we couldn't repair that. It was decided that we'd buy a new tank and put it downstairs because I can't be trusted apparently with fish in my room anymore. So they are currently downstairs swimming about in a massive new tank where they can enjoy watching the tennis and the cricket and whatever else. They actually like sport apparently. They've been watching, they watched Wimbledon. They watched Sandy Murray smash it up at, uh, at Wimbledon. And they've been watching the Ashes with my dad. Apparently they like dad more than me so he can feed them. So really in the end everyone was a winner. It could have been a lot worse. It could have exploded our house if it had got into the wrong part of the electrics, it could have caught fire. This easter egg is currently melting into my hand. <sighs> cool down please. If I'd come back a little later, the fish could have already been dead, or if I hadn't gone out at all, it would have been discovered for another few hours when my dad woke up for work. And then anything could have happened, more could have leaked out, my fish would obviously be dead, and the house could have caught fire. Again, I don't know, anything could have happened, so we got off lightly. And the fish obviously got off well. They've been moved downstairs where they can see the whole family. They've got a massive new tank and they can watch the television. That's probably their plan, actually. They've probably been chiseling away at that, at that tank for, for weeks, months even, while I've been away at uni because I've been lonely in my room. It's festival season, I'll dig out that tent. I hope to God the little poles are bent. Pack up some clothes and a sleeping bag And if there's room I'll have my back Fence as far as I can see Camping in the muddy field I feel so free A weekend of great music I can guarantee 